Hey everybody, Admiral Zoda here. So, summer has come and gone. We have experienced the latest TF2 update, the fabled summer update in all its entirety. We got new maps, new cosmetics, new game mode, and heck, a new playable character in Saxton Hale. Technically the unofficial 10th class. It was pretty jam-packed, with a lot of love put in from the community at large. I know a lot of veterans came back to play once more, and a lot of new players joined the servers, creating an exciting experience for all. But was it the perfect update that we hoped for? In my honest opinion, I would say yes, but I have some gripes. The positives are that the cosmetics are really solid, the workshop did a really good job creating some stuff for everyone, and I love the skins that we got. The mappers did a really good job too, though I didn't really have a chance to play all their arenas, which I'll get to in a minute. The big draw for me was the addition of the Versus Sex and Hail mode. This is a long time community fan game created on community servers, but it's been finally officially added to the meta. This makes it so much easier for so many new players to experience the classic game mode. This is a step in the right direction for Team Fortress 2. I feel like introducing more game modes here and there will help breathe new life into this almost two decade old game. Being able to play as a head of Manco is a lot of fun, as you go around wiping the enemy team as they try to catch you with every trick they can in, in the book. Trying to take down Hale is really daunting, <laughs> uh, as you can really only get one chance. If he kills you, you're gone. It's a ton of fun. And again, I'm happy that so many new players get to experience it. What I really think needs to happen, though, with these updates, including this one, I wish it did, is they need to introduce more contracts. Contracts add such a like different, more in-depth spin on the whole experience, and I feel like it's always good to have that little bit of incentive to, oh, okay, now I should go experience this game mode here. I'm hoping that with future updates we'll get more contracts, but we'll also be able to get more game modes. A game mode I would love to see is Protect the VIP. It's a game mode from Team Fortress Classic where you have to protect the citizen, get him to the other side of the map while everyone else tries to kill him. I think it'd be very hectic, but I think it'd be a lot of fun to see it in the mainstream. Of course, with any update, I feel, and I know I'm not alone with this, I felt like we should have got new weapons. I don't think we'll ever get any, because the devs don't want to put any time or work into this game, really. They want to do the bare minimum, which is such a bummer. No matter how many people still play it and give them money for in-game items or whatever, they still have the potted plant and, and one, one employee dedicated to keeping the servers going. I don't know why they don't see the value in this game. I know it's old, but it's still much more alive than any other game. Heck, it outlived Blizzard <laughs> with Overwatch 2 and Overwatch in general. It's like, come on, Valve. I know you're making money with just Steam in general, but you gotta you gotta give us some credit. We, we're the Steam ship. It was like, <laughs> we're keeping TF2 alive. You gotta give us a bone, something, please. My main issue with this update is it felt like just a smismus update, and we didn't even get contracts. I would say it would be like, it, oh, it's it's like a Screen Fortress, but we didn't get any contracts with this. It was more akin to a smismus update. Regardless, we still got to get players Saxon Hale, and those are technically new weapons in his arsenal, whether it be his fist or his kicking or whatever, flying around the map at insane heights and speeds. So I can't be all complaints. I also will say, the weapons skins in this update were really solid. Uh, I usually don't like pay a lot of attention to weapon skins, and a lot of them I think are like gaudy uh, for the time period. It's, it's 1970, no one's gonna be running around with a hot pink shotgun. But then again, this is a video game in a fictional world set in Nevada or wherever it is. So I, it's, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Regardless, I don't pay a lot of attention to skins. These skins, however, were really solid. Steel Brushed was probably my favorite of the bunch. It's such a simple recolor, but it really adds a whole nother level of uh, depth to your weapons. Uh, it, it just makes it look so much more sleek. So I gotta say, hats off to whoever created uh, Steel Brushed. Now, for an experience on the whole, unfortunately, I experienced a lot of stalling or long loading times trying to get into non-Saxton Hale maps. When I finally managed to get into a map, I was greeted by literally nothing but sniper bots blaring copyright music on both red and blue teams, and they would just 
congregate into the cart or wherever they were supposed to go and just sit there killing anyone that would try to do the game mode correctly, which is extremely frustrating. So keeping that in mind, I didn't really play any of the new summer maps. I, I played the Saxton Hale maps and then I played Sebian with the seal. And oh lord, that was a lot of fun. And the seal is uh, was a fantastic addition to the game. But keeping that in mind, not being able to play all the other maps was truly a bummer. <laughs> if I had to like just be blunt with it, it, it it's it's a real bummer. It, like I didn't play as much as I I wanted to play this update because I couldn't get into any of the maps. I found myself going back to just Two Fort or uh, any of the just stock maps. It was a bummer. Maybe maybe other people had a better experience than I did. I, I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm cursed. Maybe I'm cursed to have a bunch of bots following me around. Who knows? I just hope that they fix this issue because I'm, I'm really getting sick of bots. With that in mind, how would I rate the update if I had to give a score? I'd probably say it's a 6 out of 10. I feel like they had introduced contracts more incentives to play. It'd be a lot more fun experience. And as I said earlier, it was essentially a Smithsmas update with what we got. Yeah, because Smithsmas, we get cosmetics, skins, and maps, but we don't get any contracts. Versus with Screen Fortress, at least we get contracts too, which allows you to go and compete for Halloween cosmetics. I don't know. That's just my, that's just my two cents. I, I really enjoy doing contracts. But as a whole, it is good to see the community come together and pull a new update, getting everyone hyped up, including the voice actors for the game. So I can only hope that Valve is watching and be like, yeah, okay, let's dedicate some more time to this. Let's, let's, let's get some more cohesive updates without any bots. <sighs> well, anyways, that's, that's all I gotta say. This is Admiral Zoda signing off. Hopefully, I will see you during Scream Fortress, or whatever other new updates come out. Uh, other than that, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.